Hello, I am Dylan. Um, you've probably seen my face before in a few other videos. Uh, but today is going to be a little bit of like a, a news update, uh, new diecast and whatnot. Um, yeah, so let's, let's dive in. Got a few old diecasts, but they're new to me and I like them. So I thought it, it would have been uh, pretty cool to uh, show you some of them. So I'm not quite sure. What you, I think it's a 92, maybe. I'm not sure. But uh, it is Rusty Wallace's number two car. Uh, maybe you guys can clarify what year it is. I'm not sure what year it is. I haven't looked at it enough to know, but uh, it's nice. I forgot what I got it for. I got it with two other cars that I'm about to show you for um, for 20 bucks. So that was kind of cool. Next, it was probably my favorite car that I got. It's a uh, Starlin Marlins. Sterlin Marlin, not Starlin. <laughs> No. So if you guys just experienced a major cut, that was because my mom asked me a question. Anyways, this is Sterling Marlin's number 40 car from 2001. It's a nice car. Um, I forgot how much I got it for. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. Or it, it, it was the 20 deal. It was the 20 deal with the two car and the next car I'm about to show. But yeah, this is a nice car. I like it. Um, I don't know. This is a little odd for me because this is like reverse and whatnot. Uh, but this. I think a lot of you guys might like more than this Sterling Marlin car. It's Jeff Gordon's 90, correct me if I'm wrong, but 93, it's from the 90s, I know that, let me check. So I think it's from the 90s, it's a nice car, uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong. Uh, the only thing I have a problem with is it's kind of cheap looking, I mean, look. It's got hydraulics. <laughs> Um, that's the engine compartment. The wheel kind of turn, the wheels turn, of course. So I guess that's the best part. The that doesn't open. Uh, never knew he had Snickers as a sponsor. Never knew that. Um, yeah, I like it. Also, I gotta tighten that. I gotta tighten the screw on the bottom. Let's get this monster in here. So yeah, that's that's the car. I don't. I think the initials are like JC or. BC maybe, I can't tell. Bobby Sauter, maybe. No, that's not nice. Anyways, it's still a nice car. I like it. Uh, I thought it would have. Oh, when when we were out there, the box of Budweiser and it had like the gecko on it, so I thought it was like a Dale Jr. car. But this is a nice car, anyways. Uh, clearly, uh, clearly, much more. I got this in a for 20 bucks, which is a really. It's that was a really good deal. He had it for 25, and these all. Need a little bit cleaning. I mean, inside there uh, is a little dusty. This probably needs to be cleaned. Let's see if I can get a good shot in here. It's probably as good of a shot as we're gonna get. Yeah, but this is a nice car. It's from 1997, so if you guys know the name of it or who drives it, please let me know. I'm curious. I'd like to know more. This entire wall, this entire section of my computer section here, uh, it's all my knickknacks, diecast all over. I have an Earl Hart poster right there. And uh, yeah, so. I got these two cars at the beginning of the month in September. Um, so this first one, I really like. I cleaned it up. It was really nasty looking, and it cleaned up really well. It's Dale Earnhardt's two Dale, Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2002. Yeah, 2002. Uh, Nilla Wafer's car. It's a nice car. I really like it. I don't know how to do review, so please don't leave a dislike. And then my. This was probably my favorite one from that I got on that same day. Um, it's my first indie car. I like it. Um, it is Michael Andretti. I think if it's like from 98, 94 it says on this. I'm, it might be wrong. I might be wrong. Uh, but yeah, this is my first indie car. That was all the cars that I, I've gotten in this past month for the one like at yard sales. Of course you can see the 48 back there, I got that a while ago. Um, I got this a while ago, it's my first w real, you know, based off the 2017 season besides that one. Let me let me reiterate, it has the small spoiler, so it's like, yeah, so, yeah, you'll see this in the Propel Cups. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna change the logos for the chase or whatnot, but I already have my, uh, my season two Chase logo on my Albany track. So yeah, that's I got that car. It's really it's I like it. I like all these diecasts. I love diecast. Um, yeah, so get a nice little peek at that. Yeah, so that'll show up sometime in the 
Cup Series. Assume you guys know what the 2017 48 car looks like. My arm is weird. I'm just looking at the computer right now. It looks really weird. Can I get it any weirder? Yep. Okay. I'm stopping that. Anyways, yeah. So that's the that's the 48 car. That's gonna show up. I don't know. Maybe soon. I can't really show you the race. All I all I can tell you is that I've got the starting. I done this starting lineup. I've had the cars roll off already. Um, yeah. So that's that's it. That's that's about it. I almost forgot. I got some magazines today too, like programs from New Hampshire, Dover. Uh, I I saw one from. Uh, Daytona. It had Richard Petty's. It was it was from 1991. And it was um, Richard Petty's magazine about my dad saying that. I'm gonna show you some other 2017s I got. It's getting kind of weird. I have returned. First up, I got this car. I've been waiting since like May or so to get this. I want. To, I'm sort of a Toyota fan, even though my favorite driver is Jimmy Johnson. Um, I am a Toyota fan, as I just said. I just repeated myself, so I'm being annoying. Um, yeah, so I, I, yeah, Suarez is one of my favorite younger drivers. Uh, I think he deserves to go far. I think he deserves this ride. So after all the, I, I'm done rambling about diecast and whatnot. I'll get to um, the news about the Propo Cup series. So this next car, it's nice. The one problem is I got it, I got well, I got it at the, the July New Hampshire race, and the one problem I have with it is it has a, like a nice bald spot right there that's gonna be tough to see but it's like gray right there and I don't like that I, that bothers me but it is a nice Clint Boyer die cast it's my first Boyer die cast since his 15 car one more 2017 I have more 2017s but I think if you follow me on Instagram you would you know what they are even though I haven't posted them in like when I got them this is Kevin Harvick's 2017 diecast. I also got this at the July race with the, the 14 car and Jimmy Johnson's championship car, and my hat is a little crooked. Anyways, yeah, so this is Kevin Harvick's car. It's a nice car. This is basically my reviews. So that's my 2017 diecast. So onwards to the news. First of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for getting me over to 200 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Um, especially for someone like me that's not a popular kid in school. Uh, so I, you know, I try to do my best with these stop motions and whatnot, but, um, yeah, you guys, you, I guess you guys like my stuff, so I don't want you guys to think I'm done with the Pro Cup Series. I'm not going to be done for a long, long time, I hope. Um, right now I'm trying to work on the Albany race, which is the regular season finale, but like I said, I only got past to the, the, the not the intro, but, um, yeah, well, let's we'll just say the intro because I'm just... I can't think right now, I'm just, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to thank you guys for everything. 200 subscribers, subscribers is really cool. And, um, yeah, I don't I don't want you guys to think I'm done with the Purple Cup Series. Hopefully furthering my progression on the race 13, because I really want to get you get that out, because I haven't made a stop motion race since April. So, sorry, if you can hear the barking, I'm really sorry. I'm going to put, I'm going to have to put, like, music over this or something. Um... Yeah, so, Albany Race, I'm working on it. I'm not done with the Purple Cup Series. As you can see, I got some of the new logos. I'm going to be putting the, the breast cancer awareness, the pink logo that you guys are seeing in the top right, hopefully, um, up uh, sometime tonight, around 12 or so. I'm thinking about changing the logo as soon as I get to the chase, because I really want to put the new logo, because I still have Jeff Gordon in my series for... for freaking sake um yeah so i got a lot of stuff to do that's news update uh, i have a new project that i think you guys are gonna like uh coming out on this channel um i i made a new channel that's i'll put a link in the description and whatnot back to the project thing i think you guys really like it it's, it's nascar that's about it i made some new tracks i'm working on texas now uh well not i'm working on the track texas i haven't gotten that far um there's a lot of tracks i'm gonna be switching a a chase race with something else. I don't remember what it was, um, but I know what track I'm going to use. I don't remember what what track it's going to be replaced. I think it's Phoenix or something like that. I think there's. I'm going to switch out Auto Club because I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, or I, sw I switched Auto Club with Michigan. So yeah, um, yeah. But that's about it. I know this is a, kind of a messy video and whatnot, and it was. I didn't have time to prepare, so this was just like a quick 
um, yeah, just a, a quick get together, I guess. So yeah, I just want to thank you guys for everything. Um, it's been a while since I posted. Oh, there's one more thing. I'm, I'm looking right here at this. So we met a famous driver who lives in Lake George. We never got his name actually. He does look familiar though. Um, he gave us this pan. He gave me and my dad a pamphlet. And he signed it, and he has a 1928 Ford, and it's got a lot of parts in it. Like, he had parts from a Dodge, a Toyota, just ran, he had a Chevy engine and a Ford. Yeah, but he was a really cool guy. I liked, I enjoyed meeting him. He, he's met, um, it was, ah, oh, it's gonna kill me. Um, I can't remember his name. But the guy's name is T.R. Everhart. I don't know if you guys know him. He, he, he looks familiar, but his name doesn't sound familiar to me. But yeah, that was pretty cool. He had a lot of die casts. He had a, um, I think a Scott Riggs 10 car. He, he had a lot of signed stuff. He, he said he had a, sign, a signature from Richard Petty and whatnot. So yeah, he, he even started the, the car up for us. And, and that was loud. Love it. Anyways, yeah, so thanks again. I know I'm, I'm just rambling. You guys might not get a lot of information. So if you have, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in, down in the comments. Um, yeah, so, that's my first vlog, what, I don't know what to, I don't know what to name this, honestly, um, I had a name, I think, I think I'm gonna na name this what I had a poll on, and, uh, on Twitter and Instagram, so, yeah, I think that's this new show, so, thank you for, for joining me on, um, I don't know the name of this. Yeah, I, I really need to find out a name for this show. Yeah. Well, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know.